Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is a continuation of last week's video where we did a compression test which showed 190 PSI across all four cylinders. So technically today's test, which is a leak down test, doesn't even have to be performed because technically my compression is good on all four cylinders. This test is usually performed when you find a cylinder or cylinders that are low in compression. So what a leak down test really would do is help you pinpoint where it may be leaking from. For example, if it's leaking from, um, if you hear air coming out from your intake, it could be your intake valves. You hear air coming out of your exhaust, could be your exhaust valves. You hear air coming out of your uh, dipstick, it could be your crankcase. If you see air coming out of your radiator, it could be your head gasket. So these little things are what this test would be able to determine to see what is the possible cause of your lower compression. Uh, I don't have really low compression on any of this, so today's test is really essentially just going to see how much leakage is there per cylinder. So I'm going to show you guys the process, so let's get to work. Alright guys, so before we even get started, you're going to need to either rent or purchase a leak down test kit. So I purchased this on Amazon, the whole set for 40 to 50 bucks Canadian shipped to my house, so it's actually a pretty good deal. Um, it's a tool that you rel you don't really use as often, but it comes in handy when you're doing stuff like this. So you're gonna need this and access to an air compressor. All right, so before we even get started, obviously pull out all your spark plugs and all that. Uh, you're going to need to set this onto TDC for cylinder one, and we're going to be doing this test in the firing order. So essentially the same order you would adjust your valves in. So one, three, four, and two. So that's how you're gonna be testing it because uh, it has to be tested on the compression stroke, TDC at the compression stroke. So how you would check that is you're gonna rotate your crank um, counterclockwise, obviously, and you're gonna put your hand here and you'll feel air push pop out. That's when you know it's at the compression stroke because if it doesn't have air pushing through here, essentially the valves are open and air is just escaping. So it's not building a pressure, but on a compression stroke, it would have air coming out here. So just keep rotating until you feel air come out here. Once that, once you feel air come out there, you gotta either put a, a extension in here and slowly rotate it until it hits the top, the piston gets to the top, or you could start off by just adjusting the crank to the timing mark, which is the TDC mark on your crank. I've already adjusted the TDC mark, so I'm not gonna do that. So we're gonna essentially set it up for this cylinder right now. All right, so TDC would essentially be the top here. So this is already at TDC. Um, this would go all the way down, as you can see. So TDC would end up being at the top. So this is good. Now we basically <laughs> gotta remove all the tools because sometimes, it will crank over due to the pressure being forced on here. Um, next, we're gonna take this rod essentially. Uh, it came with the kit. This will just thread into your spark plug hole. Just be careful not to cross thread anything. And you wanna get it hand tight in here, just like the compression test, so that the, the little rubber O-ring seats in there. So now this is ready for doing the leak down test. Now we're gonna set up the leak down tester. All right, so this is the leak down tester. Um, so this end here is going to be the end that you're gonna feed um, compressed air into. And then this end here is where you plug it into the um, pipe or the hose that we just stuck into the cylinder. So essentially before you get started, you're gonna to need to put plug it into compressed air and then you're gonna adjust it to that set mark right there, that set. So you're gonna to try to zero it. Um, how you would do that is just through this knob here. So you pull this down and then you would just twist it until it is set to that mark. So we're gonna do that real quick. There you go. So as close to zero as you can. Just rotated it in. So we can see that we've got about, I don't know, 20, I would say 20 something PSI on there. So this should be enough, I think, to show. I'm not really sure how much PSI we're supposed to be putting in. But as long as it's set, we're good. Now we're gonna plug this in 
to the cylinder and we'll watch this gauge to see what, what happens. So I am experiencing low leakage, so that's pretty good, I would say. All right, so we're gonna check number three to bring this up to TDC. So let's unthread this one. And we're gonna crank it counterclockwise until that comes all the way up. I think that's TDC. And this one is also good, as you can see, there's low leakage, so about the same. Now we're gonna test cylinder four. All right. Again, low leakage as you can see. So these are all healthy readings. So now we're gonna go to the final cylinder, which is cylinder two. As well, this one's leaking a little bit more. You can see they were all at around this point here. Um, but this was expected. This is the cylinder that was actually leak, like lower compression than the rest. So that's basically the leak down test. But with it set up like this, now we can actually listen to see where the air is actually coming from. You, you don't want it to see bubbling from here. which is something. Yeah, no bubbling, so head gasket is okay. All right guys, so now after I've done the leak down test on all four cylinders, we I wanna know where it's leaking from. So I could have done this, you know, while I was testing each individual cylinder as well. But for the most part, you know, you're going to expect some leakage, especially since it was around the 40% mark, close to the 40% mark. So there is leakage within the, the cylinder. So like 40% of that is, is leaking. Keep in mind that I'm doing this on a cold engine. This, this test will give way better results if it was on a hot engine. You're technically supposed to do this test where it's at normal operating temperature. However, um, I didn't want to really put everything back together, drive it around get all warmed up and then run the test. So if you guys were to run this test, do it with your engine at operating temperature because it will show you way better results because everything is gonna be um, better sealed because of the expansion and stuff. However, I'm gonna show you guys where uh, I'm seeing some of the leakage. So all you do is plug this in. As you can see, it is around that point again. And then you can listen to this. So it's going into the crankcase, which means it's passing the piston rings. As well, you can hear it in here. So it's definitely piston rings. 
where um you know it's worn so this engine definitely needs a new set of piston rings and so the bottom end needs to be essentially rebuilt however um this is not worth the time and money for me to do at this very point so we're going to leave it for now we're probably just going to run thicker oil in the future but for now it yielded decent results everything was in still in the green zone but it is getting to the more worn area so this engine is to that point where you know it does need new piston rings um so yeah we we found that that's probably the reason why it's burning oil which is what i suspected all along it's the piston rings all right guys so that's the leak down test that's how you would do it um you notice that all four cylinders pretty much had like 40 percent leak um which isn't abnormal due to the fact that the engine is cold right now however with new piston rings and all that it should be even at cold it should be sealing a lot better um so you know i might yield better results if i you know warmed up the, the vehicle first and then did the leak down test but I, you know i didn't want to have to put everything back together and take it all apart again it's just a lot of work um we know that there's leakage in the cylinders and it is leaking down into the crankcase because you can hear it from the dipstick as well as from the oil cap so we know it's the piston rings that is worn um and that's kind of expected because over time 230,000 kilometers on this um you know those things wear out it needs you know rehoning of the cylinders new piston rings and all that the bottom end of the engine is something that i didn't work on i can rebuild it if i wanted to but not going to at this point it's a lot of work um and the engine runs fine so what in the meantime i'm going to try a few different things maybe running a heavier weight oil um the next i'm going to try running is 10w40 um which is something that people do because at higher mileages everything's more worn you run a thicker oil but downside about running a thicker oil you're probably going to see uh, worse gas mileage because the engines were working a lot harder right the uh, viscosity of the oil is not as thin anymore so it's not moving as freely it's actually got more i guess pressure for um for the cylinders to be moving right and and it could cause damage could might not i'm not really sure but the next thing is when i change my oil i'm going to run 10w40 to see how how much um oil burn is there if it lowers the oil burn i'll just continue running 10w40 until this thing really needs a rebuild but for now everything runs fine there's really no no engine knock no nothing so we're gonna just keep running it like this we know the culprit is piston rings but that's basically the uh, leak down test guys i hope this helps you guys out if you haven't already please comment like and subscribe and share my videos as always guys i'll see you in the next one cheers